On this channel, I have reviewed a few Exodus albums. The 2004 Kick-Ass album, Tempo of the Damned, and the 2005 Shovel-Headed Kill Machine, which featured Rob Dukes on vocals. Well, let's go back to 1985 with an album that many consider to be a classic thrash metal album, and that is Bonded by Blood. I first heard about this one back in high school, not too long after I first heard Exodus, which the first song I ever heard from them was the well-known The Toxic Waltz. Bonded by Blood was released in 1985 through Torrid Records, and it features nine tracks, and they are Bonded by Blood, Exodus, and Then There Were None, A Lesson in Violence, Metal Command, Piranha, No Love, Deliver Us to Evil, and Strike of the Beast. The album clocks in at 40 minutes and 31 seconds, and it features Paul Bailoff on vocals, Rick Hunold and Gary Holt on guitars, Tom Hunting on drums, and Rob McKillop on bass. Ken Adams and Todd Gordon were producers, Mark Whitaker did the producing, mixing, and engineering, and Robin Yeager did the mixing. George Horn was also involved with the mastering. Now, some of the songs were co-written by Kirk Hammett of Metallica, as he was a co-founder of the band. Not only that, he was on two demos, the 1982 demo and Die By His Hand. The album was released on Paul Bailoff's 25th birthday, and it was recorded at Prairie Sun Studios in 1984. Let's start this off by talking about the first and title track of the album, Bonded by Blood. You know, there's a lot of metal songs out there that are anthems, and I would say each genre has those, and for thrash metal, some might say Master of Puppets, From Whom the Bell Tolls, Peace Sells, Angel of Death, Raining Blood. Well, Bonded by Blood, I think, is right there with those songs. It doesn't take very long to get right into it. And three minutes and 44 seconds of motherfucking headbanging. Gary Holt and Rick Hunold fucking nail it with the riffs. Tom Hunting's drum work is killer. And Paul Bailoff, he is in your face with his vocals. Pure and simple. A fucking killer way to start this album out. Track three, and then there were none. Great opening riff, which leads into the drum work by Tom Hunting. Very catchy song as well, ranging from the lyrics, the chorus, the riffs. Everything fucking rules about this song. Track 5, Metal Command. Something about this song. Maybe it's the pace and how it has a little bit of speed in it. It's just one of the best songs on this album, right up there with the title track. The pace of the riffs by Gary Holt and Rick Hunnell, the bass work by Rob McKillop and Tom Hunting on drums, then you throw in Paul Bailoff's vocals. How can anyone say they don't like this song? They'd be a fucking idiot to say so. Not only that, the lyrics are very catchy. Dark! 
Track seven, No Love. Every time I hear this song, I laugh more than I should because of the intro. It sounds like something that shouldn't be on a metal album, but it is, and it leads right into these killer riffs. The song starts out at a slower pace, but when the guitars really kick in, man does it speed up. And it's in your face thrash metal. Fucking good shit, pal. The final track, Strike of the Beast. Another favorite of mine, ranging from the opening riffs by Rick Hunnell and Gary Holt. Tom Hunting just fucking kicks your ass on the drums, and of course Paul Bailoff ripping your face apart with his vocals. A damn good way to end this album out. Bonded by Blood is a fucking thrash metal classic. It's an album full of killer riffs and guitar solos. Gary Holt is a fucking legendary metal guitarist when it comes to thrash metal. Rick Hunnold, same thing, especially with what he has done in Exodus over the years. It's a damn shame he left in 2005, but Gary still kills it on guitar in Exodus to this day. On top of that, he did take Jeff Hanneman's spot in Slayer. Tom Hunting, what can you say about him? Certified badass motherfucker behind the drum kit. Not only that, he kicked Cancer's ass in 2021, which was awesome to hear. Rob McKillop did a damn good job on bass for this album, and even for his time in the band. McKillop left Exodus in 1991 and retired from music after his exit. He was offered to rejoin in 1997 and 1998 when there was a reunion but declined. Then you have Paul Bailoff. The metal world lost a killer thrash vocalist when he passed in 2002. Although he was only on one full-length album with Exodus, he was fucking great. He was credited for songwriting on Pleasures of the Flesh and was on the Another Lesson in Violence live album as there was a brief reunion in 1997 like I mentioned earlier. But if you you haven't heard Bonded by Blood, go listen to it now, go buy it, whatever. Just blast that fucker through your speakers, your vehicle speakers, your headphones, and so on. I hope you enjoyed this review of Bonded by Blood by Exodus. Thank you for watching, you motherfuckers. Kick ass.